why does curiosity matter? If you're selling anything on social media, we're going to break down today why creating curiosity in your business is so important. This is for both a network marketer and a small business owner and how you can use curiosity to drive your sales. People are naturally nosy and often if they care, they want to know what you're up to. So with the majority of the stories or posts that I put up on social media, including reels, I always want to have an element of curiosity to evoke that emotion inside someone. It's like a preview to a really good movie where you're like, Ooh, I want to know more. Let's break down how to use curiosity to your advantage. My name is Stephanie Preci, and I love helping small business owners grow their influence and profits online using marketing strategies that actually work. And I'm also the leader of the Preci Pack. Tell me the last time on social media where you clicked a button or you commented on a post simply because you were curious about what the person was up to. You may not even want to buy, but you're just like, hey, that looks cool or that sounds cool. I want to know more. Those pieces of content almost always perform better. Now, curiosity marketing and attraction marketing isn't exactly the same thing. So if you want to know the difference and really figure out what attraction marketing is, check out this video. Let me break down why curiosity marketing is so powerful and how to use it to your advantage. First of all, with either a story or a post on social media, you can move the person into a message conversation faster when you use curiosity. This allows me to have a direct one-on-one -on -one dialogue with the person and ask them some questions, get to know them better, see if they're qualified to be a part of my program or my offer. And I would encourage you to do the same. So when you're putting information out there, it allows you to hop into Messenger and start building rapport with that person and finding out about their needs. And you can do it in regards to your offer, be it products you're selling or a business opportunity, or a coaching program that you have, you can ask them specific questions because they already inquired about what you're doing. The second reason why curiosity marketing is so powerful is because it honestly lessens resistance. People don't like to be sold to, but they love to buy. And I can say confidently that I know there's a lot of people out there looking for exactly what you sell, the solutions that you sell right now. But we all form opinions on different products, different companies, and things. And so when you're not promoting a label or a company or something in particular, and you're just talking about how something benefited you or how it can benefit the user without mentioning a name, that's powerful and will lessen the resistance of their preconceived judgments. The next reason why I love curiosity marketing is because you become the hunted instead of being the hunter. Now, while prospecting can be done really well, I love it. Nothing beats people reaching out to me in Messenger saying, hey, I want info on your membership. How can I sign up? That's always a hundred times easier than me reaching out to people. I'll be honest, I'm kind of introverted. I would much rather let someone else start the conversation. That doesn't mean I don't do it at times, but it's so powerful to be the hunted. When you're not saying the name of a product, or you can also use it, say you have a coaching business and you're doing trainings and you're not giving all the information away. It makes people be in a position where if they want to know, they need to comment or they need to push a button in your stories. And that's where you want people coming to you to have the conversations about their problems versus them going and doing the research online. You have the back and forth conversation dance and you're developing that relationship. The fourth reason why curiosity matters is because you're branding yourself versus a company or a product or anything else. It's all about you. If you're in network marketing, this is incredibly powerful because you want to distinguish yourself from the other reps in your company. People do business with people they know, like, and trust and who are also authorities in the matter. So brand yourself, build your level of influence and expertise, and then you'll develop your super fans. And because people are curious, they'll reach out. The fifth reason why curiosity really matters is because it develops a level of FOMO. I don't know about you, but when everyone else is asking for information or, hey, what is this? Or what company is that? Or what are you doing? Don't you want to know too? And instead of being left behind, because other people see all the people asking for information, they're going to ask too. So I love that level of social proof of which if you really haven't harnessed social proof in your business, check out this video we can build your own personal marketing. For more information on the Preci Pack, head on over to stephaniepreci.com. I'd love to work with you and help you grow your influence and profits online. Remember, keep curiosity alive. 
because it gets you right into a messenger conversation with someone. You lessen resistance. You become the hunted versus the hunter. You brand you and you create FOMO and social proof. Thanks for watching today. Check out either of these two videos that are popping up on the screen. I'll be back next week with another new video just for you.